I know, I know the word narcissist has become a buzzword, along with gaslighting, flying monkeys, and yes, trauma bonds. There are many experts who would say that all people fall into the narcissism spectrum. However, there are those who tip the scales with their cruelty and viciousness. And if you haven't guessed, I'm talking about the infamous Vampire Lestat and the Vampire Lorena. Both characters are stunning, both characters are charming, and both characters are loneliest. Being a vampire may look good on paper. Who wouldn't want to live forever, stay young and beautiful forever, make a lot of money, party, and travel the world? However, life is really not worth living if death isn't looming around the corner. I mean, the fear of death gives us purpose and meaning and direction, and most importantly, the desire to grow. So in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive and examine the power of purpose and why every vampire in person should have one. As your maker, I release you. Hey guys, listen, I was never a big fan of Lorena. I guess the moment that I set eyes on her, I knew that she was bad news. In fact, when Bill Compton came to seek her refuge, I wanted to yell at the television screen, run, Bill, run. Run, Forrest, run! However, as a dedicated TV viewer, I had to put myself in Bill Compton's shoes. If I was distressed, hungry, lost, and homesick, I would be just as gullible to anyone who offered me a free meal and a place to lay my head. Now, Lorena understood the weaknesses of men and the mastery of seduction. Ironically, she was further intrigued when Bill Compton turns down her advances. After all, he was a faithful man, and he just wanted to get home to his wife and children. But Lorena, a typical narcissist, just can't take no for an answer. So out of pure force, she pins down Bill and proceeds to drain him dry, thus turning him into a vampire. The process isn't pretty, and it's far from fun. In fact, virtually all the flashbacks that Bill has with Lorena seemed pained and miserable and traumatic. You are such a wet blanket. I don't know why I keep bothering with you. Why do you? I can't stand the sight of you. Lorena, being Bill's maker, she treated him like he was her dog. She demanded his submission and unbinding loyalty. Now, Lorena might be beautiful, but sadly, guys, she has no game. Now, a stat, on the other hand, now he's got game. The second I saw him on screen, I said to myself, who is this sexy specimen of a man? This man was like some kind of dark angel. Not only was he easy on the eyes, he was generous with his purse. This has your answer. Put that on my account, thank you. And two more for us. And another round for the musicians. Whatever they want. Ils sont toujours oubliés. Yes, sir. His friend's accent was impeccable, by the way. Unlike Lorena, who managed to butcher the words. Enjoying the entertainment? Oh, yes. Very much. Yes. And unlike Lorena, Lestat really wanted to see Lewis win. Yes, yes, I screamed at the screen as Lestat manipulated the poker players into giving Louis the winning hand. Lestat appeared to be Louis' champion, helping him get a leg up in the downtrodden Jim Crow South. It was almost as if Lestat had created his own love story where he rescues Louis from segregation and racism. Most importantly, he promises to give Louis the dark gift a gift that would set him free from judgments and oppression forever. I can give you that death, you bent your feeble, blind, degenerate, non-existent god for. While Lorena takes what she wants with brutal force, Lestat whines and dines and takes tremendous delight in wooing Louis into his arms. You can say that Lestat is a hopeless romantic. You could also say that he enjoys the chase, more so than being in an actual relationship. One thing is for sure though, Lestat yearns for connection and believes that Louis being by his side will give him the sense of purpose that he so desperately craves. I have waited, Louis. I have patiently waited in vain. For you to love me. I think the one thing that separates Lestat from Lorraine is that he has real death. We see gentleness and kindness from him. 
something that we don't see from Lorena in all seasons of True Blood. In fact, she comes off as the mean queen, threatening to drain Suki and anyone else who gets in her way. However, both characters have one thing in common. They both love to inflict pain. Asa and Lorena often put their victims to hell before killing them. They take delight in torturing them, savoring their pain as if it was a delectable wine or a rich piece of cake. Both characters admit to being predators and simply being true to their vicious nature. However, both Louie and Bill try and show them a different way, but their efforts fall on deaf ears. Why? Well, because Lestat and Lorena are not only narcissists, they aren't interested in self-reflection or inner growth. You see, a narcissist has a warped way of thinking. We normal people are willing to change, reflect, and compromise to maintain a relationship. We innately understand that we will push people away if we treat them badly. And we really understand that physical and emotional abuse is strictly prohibited. A narcissist, on the other hand, believes that the relationship is really all about them. And yes, they can display certain behaviors of kindness and even generosity. However, these behaviors are more of a reward for enduring abuse or some form of mistreatment. While regular people in normal relationships want to see their partner shine, narcissists clip their wings and kick them when they're down. Regular people want to choose a partner who compliments them. A narcissist wants to choose a partner who they think they can abuse. Yes! Ravage me! Ravage me! Let's take a look at the parallels between these two characters. Lestat chose Louis because he understood that he yearned for prestige and power. However, his power was limited to him because of the color of his skin and his orientation. Lestat gives Louis the dark gift, which is intended to set him free. But in truth, it chains Louis to Lestat for all eternity. Louis tries to break away and reestablish a relationship with his estranged family, but they view him in the way that he always saw himself. Go to your home. Like a freak of nature, a hideous ghoul who preys on the living. Louis is isolated from his family, and so he has to cling to Lestat, and he later finds himself resenting him. Why? Well, because Lestat took his life, his light, his purpose. Louis was always a breadwinner in his family, but when he hooked up with Lestat, all that changed. Filled with emptiness, Louis finds success in business, only to stagger when it is all burned down to the ground. Finally, he feels a new sense of purpose when he creates young Claudia, only to lose her in the fire in which she was created in. Bill Compton seemed to be an honorable man, but for those of us who watched Ned Stark in the first season of Game of Thrones, we all know that honorable men don't get very far on television shows. He fights for the Confederate flag to protect the South and his love for land and family, and after losing in the Civil War, he tries to get back home, but stumbles across a vicious vampire instead. Once turned, Lorena warns Bill that he could never see his family again. Lorena takes Bill's purpose just as Lestat took Lewis's purpose. Call me! Anything for you. Without purpose, both of these characters are malleable. They live for their makers and are willing to submit to their calls and even to engage in barbaric activities to please them. Both characters harbor hatred for their makers who deceive them and rob them of their humanity. And both characters need to take drastic actions to set themselves free. Sadly, freedom doesn't last long in the world of vampires. While Bill, a newly released vampire, wanders the world alone, a rejected Lorena is determined to make him her slave again. He finds spurts of pleasure and purpose with Suki, the beautiful fae. For the first time in 140 years, I felt something I thought had been lost to me forever. Only for Lorena to sneak in and rip her from him. Louis finds temporary refuge and purpose in a vampire coven in France, only for Lestat to rise up and burn everything to the ground. 
Sadly, the resounding theme in these vampire series is that people seek purpose by robbing others of theirs. It seems to be a vicious cycle that is almost impossible to break. It is only the ancient vampire Gajic who is able to escape this cycle by finding his own purpose and encouraging Eric to do the same. This is a topic that I will be discussing in the next video. However, in the meantime, what do you think about Lestat and Lorena being narcissists? What do you think about the power of purpose? Please sound off in the comments below.